morning. Morning. Um, today we're going to go a bit up the island somewhere. Um, it's Sunday, so a lot of things are closed. Yeah. Um, so I'll show you on the map where we might go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea where we're going. First place. Um, so. It was a surprise to me, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for so. the surprise. Oh. It's so good. So, so. Guess what I love? Plain ruin. <laughs> Thank so you. So, that's supposed to be an old communist plane that were here many years ago. Hmm. And got, I don't think they got destroyed by. Can't wait to look at the history. We can probably engines. look at the history and when we do some filming, we can do a voiceover from the history of this. Yeah. Um, I've forgotten what was what happened here. But yeah, there's ruined. I don't ruined even know if you're filming that properly. Is that on the It's got Russian letting on it. So this is the larger of the two right planes. It does look like something Russian. Engines have flopped over. It's quite interesting to see not how they should be. Um, poke the camera through here. To cut myself on the broken glass. The what? That's wood, isn't it? It's like granite from the certain explanation of that. I was thinking it's just an old wooden one with your wooden insides. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking for something right on it. So there's some lettering on the side, can't quite make out what it's supposed to say. Um, yeah. But if it's Cyrillic, it's going to mean different things anyway. Oh, I think this is the uh, Cuban one. This is supposed to be a Cuban airliner here. You see a little a Cuban flag on the back. I suspect this is an old Cuban airliner because it was at one point um, kind of aligned with Cuba and the Soviet Union. Here's a smaller of the two aircraft. Um, this one quite clearly has aero flots on the side in Cyrillic, so this one is Russian. Um, so you can see the lettering here. So a, I know that that one's an, sort of an F sound in Cyrillic. And that looks pretty much like the Aeroflot Russian of today. I um, don't know what sort of plane it is. Again, we can perhaps find out. AH2, yeah. But the advantage, the disadvantage is it leaks oil a lot. Apparently, it's very easy to get oil leaks on these because some of the cylinders are upside down. So they're difficult to maintain but very powerful. And again, that's something I learned about years ago, but I've forgotten most of it. Never, never flown a plane with this kind of engine, it's mostly old. Again, the aero flot right there, there's our car, just back there. This is quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, very. There's a lot of benches around, I wonder if this place gets busy some days, people coming for picnics or something. So in the early 1980s, Pearls was the, the only airport in Grenada, and the Soviet Union in Cuba started funding the construction of a new airport, which is the current international airport. Um, the US obviously saw this as a strategic threat, with the Soviets basically creating a military spec runway 
um, in Grenada that would be for their, for their own use as far as they saw it. So in 1983, they invaded Grenada um, and particularly this airport and destroyed these two aircraft. And this particular one is a Cubana Airlines Antonov AN-24B. And there's another one behind it that is apparently a Soviet crop duster. So they're both, they were both damaged in, in the US invasion of 1983. 
So quite busy today because I suppose it's Sunday. Um, and the fish and chips, the pieces look nicer, I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, so the lunch, it was, the fish was alright wasn't it, it wasn't the best. Um, I think just the, probably the type of fish was a bit, I don't know, funny tasting. Just walk along the beach a bit, back to the car, and then we'll uh, drive down to the other beach, the next beach. Um, very loud music outside. Um, but we walked on the beach, it's very nice, empty. That hill's particularly nice. Um, that's rather pretty with the beach here and that hill behind. So we'll keep walking a bit and then uh, get back up this end and find to sit down for a while. So we've come to a place called Leaper's Hill near on just on the north coast. So there is a memorial here with a sign uh, that makes a bit more sense, not quite what I was thinking. Um, so the Caribs sort of fighting the French um, for freedom, I guess, um, and the defeated at this point, and rather than being captured, um, jumped off the edge, basically. Um, I imagine it's quite a steep drop down to the sea. Yeah, quite a steep cliff down there. road up to Concord Falls that we just come on the West Coast Road that was very pretty and this is now the road to Concord Falls which is equally very very beautiful uh, very narrow as well a few cars come in the direction but, uh, yeah really nice so we're at the top of the hill now let's see at the end the road ends here but it's just a big car park at the end of that narrow road and the waterfall just over there Do you think? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's quite nice. I think they do allow swimming, but I mean it's not very warm, is it? it is so, cold. yeah. I actually think the view is nice from the top, to be honest. The trees around. Are you saying it's very deep there? So apparently the pool here is very deep, so be careful swimming in it. But here you can swim easy. So there's no one else here. It's just us now. It's quite nice to be alone in one of these places. I say it's nice to be alone in one of these places, isn't it? Everywhere else has been loads of people on music. Mm. Here it's just quiet and peaceful. So it was a really good day. Um, mm. I'll show you on the map in a minute where we went exactly in the end. Um, and it's a very, very nice first day in Grenada. In Grenada? Grenada? Mm. Grenada. I've got to even <laughs> say it now. Um, tired. <laughs> so the sun's just set over the lagoon or the marina, whatever you call it, that, over there. And yeah, we'll finish this video here, I think. It's probably quite enough it's enough for one video. Mm -hmm. um, so. You don't have to make a very long one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what do you say now? Like, subscribe, <laughs> and tap the little bell. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and keep watching for the map, mm. which is coming immediately now. Bill's bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, we went from here where we're staying, up to the main road, along this way, do, 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 up here, to, where was the first place we stopped? I've forgotten now even. Uh, I don't even remember where we stopped. I think we're getting some rum, so I'm gonna put this off and start it again in a minute when I've remembered what we did. Okay, so we've just now got rum punch, which has aided our memory. 
of what we what we did. So we get from here, round to the main road, up the main road, to Pearls Airport, which is here where the, where the wrecked planes were. And then we came from here, back out, along, I think this one, this one, yeah, this one, through here to Welcome Stone, here. Then back round through here to Bathway Beach where we had lunch. Then Livara Beach, where we sort of semi went swimming. And then back along here to Saltiers, where there's Leapers Hill, where the, where the uh, Caribs jumped off the hill rather than being catch for the French. And continued along this one. This is a very beautiful bit of road through here and along the coastline here. Incredible. Um, down, 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 down the coast. And then came up here to Concord Falls. And then back down the road, back through here to where we're staying. So a whole loop of the island on the first day. Um, and tomorrow we have a plan to get back up here to some very interesting places. So watch for that one. And in the meantime, we go back to our rum.